Hello everyone, this is Brad again, just to reach out to you and tell you that in the world of home technicians, home engineers, IT guys who want to start getting a little bit more involved in more advanced platforms, you can do that. Today I'm showing you what is known as a NetApp DS2246 chassis. It is a 2.5 inch uh, SAS, mini SAS interface bridge connection. And as you can see here, the uh, interfaces are pretty awesome. And they really could do quite a bit. They're, they're very impressive uh, systems. And uh, those who've worked with NetApp know that with these platforms, uh, which you deal with many of these enclosures, these disk enclosures, that you get to have some real flexibility in being able to understand and utilize some advanced technologies. Now in the back here you can see your inbound outbounds on the TCP side for the heartbeat side and of course you've got your mini SAS interface cabling interfaces that which will work with the controller cards which are built into these units. So when you're dealing with these types of interfaces uh, as they're bridged over you utilize interface cables like these and being able to basically pair these up and connect them into place. And these give you the pathway for data communication on the actual system itself. Now, the card module system itself is pretty straightforward. I mean, it is just basically an encapsulated set that which has the interface bus. Those are your split buses right there. That gives you a lot of redundancy in regards to how this card functions as well as a common power bus that is shared between the two UPS's or I'm sorry not UPS's but power supplies which are located here and here and they basically provide you the scalability that what you're looking for in redundancy. Now the really cool thing about this is these 24 disk array platforms as you can see here are basically uh, on the way out. Uh, if you know what you're buying, this is great. I mean, this thing will connect to, to anything. Uh, as long as you have the proper connection interfaces, you can really take advantage of these systems. Now, I've got two of them here, and I'm going to power this one up just to initiate for the first time since I bought them. Uh, make sure that they're functionalizing correctly and posting the post stack codes if you look down here. Now they get pretty noisy pretty quick. And they blow the air pretty hard. So, if you don't mind working in an environment like this and you've got a setup like this where you've got your rack enclosures to do the work that what you need to do, these are spectacular. So guess how much I paid for these units? 50 bucks. That's it. So the internet is getting rid of stuff like this as on a wholesale side scale. And if you get the right kind of standards, in other words, you get the standards that do 3.5 inch SATA SAS, and you get the standard for 2.5 inch SATA SAS, avoid fiber channel altogether, at least for now. And uh, that gives you a, an ability to have a spectacular storage resource for your test beds. And I mean, this is serious hardware here, but it's cheap. You can learn on this. You can plug it into SIF or SIFs. You can work it out with bluster environments. This is just an array. And an arrays are stupid. They're, uh, depending on the features and functions of them, all they do is serve up di disk space. So, with that being said, know that about this when you start to work with it because these guys are just just wonderful when it comes to working with the standards of disk storage again this is a NetApp DS 2246 array and it uh, utilizes standard 120 volt it has both in pairs it's redundant redundant power supplies you can actually mode them to only run with a single power supply. Um, you also have extended functionality here on the side for indication alerts and of course initiate tri triggers. 
So, you know, this is just a, a, a really intelligent uh, footprint if you want to learn how to work with advanced enterprise environments, such as your virtual environments, your sample mode environments, and so on and so on. So, anyways, this is Brad Dyke signing off. I'll let you go. Take care. Bye-bye.